updates tungkol sa mga laban ng ating mga pambato and other boxing news. Ito po ating pag-uusapan ngayon mga kadwelo para bago tayo magpatuloy, huwag niyo po sanang kalimutan mag-subscribe sa ating munting sports channel. Maraming salamat po. Sa isang ulat po mga kadwelo per ring magazine ay may possibility raw na makalaban na sa championship sa kanyang susunod na duelo ang unbeaten top contender sa flyweight division former IBO flyweight champion Dave Duberman Apolinario kung ibabakante raw ng current unified IBF and WBO flyweight champion Jesse Bam Rodriguez ang kanyang IBF title dahil sa balitang aakit na ito ulit sa super flyweight division to face current WBC and the ring super flyweight champion Juan Francisco Estrada if mabakante ng tuluyan ang nasabing titulo ang dalawang top contenders na potentially maglalaban daw para rito ay sina Apolinario at number 1 IBF flyweight contender Angel Ayala at ang malupit pang balita ay ito'y posible raw mangyari mga kadwelo bilang adisyon sa undercard ng bigating duelo sa Japan sa buwan ng Mayo sa pagitan ni former 2 division world champion Mexican Luis Pantera Neri at 4 division world champion current undisputed super bantamu champion Japanese monster na Oya Inoue buksingerong stablemate ni Apolinario sa Uhashi Promotions ni Japanese chairman former champion Hideyoki Uhashi jointly promoted po mga kadwelo si Apolinario ni na Uhashi at Sandman Promotions Matatandaan mga kadwelo na matapos ang knockout victory last time ni Apolinario over Tanis Ong Junta sa Japan ay inasahan agad ng ilang Pinoy boxing fans na nakapasa si Apolinario sa tila audition nito na makalaban sa undercard ng Inoue versus Neri Kaso it seems gusto po ni Naohashi na title fights lahat ang nasa main fight card ng Inoue versus Neri na alam na natin composed of 4 world title fights involving Naoya at kapatid nito, current WBA Bantamweight Champion Takuma Inoue, current WBA Flyweight Champion Seigo Akoy, at WBO Championship between the defending champion Australian Jason Mayhem Maloney at another stablemate ni Inoue na si unbeaten knockout artist Yushiki Takei. Si Akoy po ang tinitingnan ng mga Pinoy boxing fans as a potential opponent sa first world title shot ni Apolinario dahil currently rated number one contender po sa WBA Flyweight Rankings ang ating pambato. Kaso, iba ngayon ang sasugo pa ay ni Akoy na kapwa-hapon niya. However, with the latest news of Bam Rodriguez moving up and probably relinquishing soon his IBF flyweight title, baka makalaban sa World Championship si Apolinario ng mas maaga. Potentially again versus Angel Ayala. Mexicanong wala ring talo just like Apolinario at may kasalukuyang kartada na 17 and 0, 7 wins by way of knockout. If the Unjunta knockout ang huling panalo ni Duberman, ang huling panalo naman po ni Ayala was a decision win over veteran former world champion Nicaraguan Felix Alvarado. Matatandaan na aside from current Japanese champion Akoy, si Ayala rin ay kinol out kamakailan lang ni Apolinario. Well season mga kadwelo if magmaterialize talaga ang Apolinario versus Ayala for the vacant IBF flyweight title. Sakaling mangyari ay magandang oportunidad po ito para sa Pinas na magkaroon ng chance na naman na makasungkit ng world title this year. If di po tayo nagkakamali, ang next attempt po natin in getting a champion crown ay sa Marso 31 kung saan dadayo po sina former world champion Melvin Gringo Jerusalem at former title challenger RR Andale sa Japan to face current IBF and WBC minimum weight champions magkapatid na Ginjero at Yodai Shigioka respectively at ang kain ni Jerusalem maka-upset ulit sa Japan matatandaan na last year naging ganap na kampiyon siya after his spectacular second round knockout upset win over then defending WBO minimum weight champion Japanese Masataka Taniguchi unfortunately natalo po siya sa kanyang title defense kay now WBO minimum weight champion Oscar Culazo samantala sa isa sa mga latest fights po mga kadwelo ng ating kababayan na si Tokyo Olympic Silver Medalist Carlo Paalam sa isang Olympic Qualifying Tournament na ginaganap ngayon sa Italy, bagamat nanalo po siya mga kadwelo over Mexican fighter Andre Bonilla ay tila binalibag po siya mga kadwelo ng nasabing Mexicano dahil na unfortunately, despite sa kanyang panalo ay nagkaroon po siya ng shoulder injury. Bago tayo magpatuloy ito po ang ilang highlights ng laban nila mga kadwelo kung saan bumagsak na bilangan pa ang nasabing Mexican boxer losing to Galalia Fai in the gold medal bout his opponent his 18 year old Andres his first attempt at qualifying for the Olympics as for Carlo Palam while well, he was a fifth place oh. finisher 
the Olympic qualification. Beautiful right hand there over the top from Polan. Real jackrabbit up there in the boxing ring, never stops moving. Palam just finding it difficult to find a range with any consistency, but because Bonilla, well, there he was tagged by a right hand, and then difficult mission for Palam to tag him cleanly, but he did have no difficulty during that exchange, and then an uppercut on the inside from Palam. Both fighters just don't think. Range. Oh, oh, counter right hand, left hook. Sends Bonilla down to the canvas, back on his feet, and he's electing to engage. Oh. Again, Bonilla on the front foot now, having conceded that first round on a 3-2 speed to try and establish that left jab with his own rapid fire straight shot. Which is able to cut off Palam, and just make him work. And he's moving laterally. Bonilla with a burst of punches to the body. Palam tied up in Bonilla's corner free to get back to the space of center ring or oh, will he avoid it remember Palam leads 20 points to 18 for two judges as another left hook sinks into the body from Bonilla and that is why Palam is electing to stand and fight but Bonilla holding his own during that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange oh. and getting the better of that portion of the oh. trade-off now that's really naughty I think Bonilla could find himself in trouble here because he appears to have injured Carlo Palam with that move that threw him down to the canvas Carlo Palam I think it's his shoulder. Yep, he's reaching for his shoulder, he's flexing his neck. The doctor has been called up onto the apron, and here's a look at how it Sorry. happened. Simply cannot do that. Shoulder. Now, is Palam able to continue? I know point yeah. has been deducted for that blatantly illegal move in the boxing ring performed by Andre Bonilla, and that is going to make it very difficult now for Bonilla to win on points. Remember, we had two judges favoring the work of Carlo Palam, 20 points to 18. One judge favoring the work of Bonilla, 20 points to 18. The other two cards were scored at 19 points apiece. How badly inconvenienced has he been by that injury he appeared to have sustained during that ungainly trip to the canvas where he was fairly tossed down to the mat by Andre. We're going for the inside the distant victory here. But Palam fighting through the obvious discomfort that he's feeling after he was subjected to a, a blatantly illegal move that threw him down to the canvas. Beautiful left hook to the body again from Bonilla. As Palam trying to get that injured arm working. No doubt. As he's going in pursuit of Carlo Palam. Yeah, Palam's really not throwing that, that hand now. His right hand. Staying on the ropes, bobbing and weaving. This is where Carlo Palam was sent to the floor in the gold medal bout against Galalia Fai. Talks left hook to the body on the resumption from Bonilla. Absolutely nothing wrong with this man's desire or determination. But Palam in real trouble with that right arm after he was thrown in a blatantly illegal maneuver by Andre Bonilla. To the so again, nanalo po mga kaduelo si Paalam, kaso sadly, na-injured siya, injuring, naka-apekto talaga sa kanya, kaya natalo po siya sa next fight niya. After the said Mexican fighter, kaya sa ngayon, di pa siya qualified na mag-compete sa 2024 Paris Olympics. For a last chance to compete dito ay kakailangan din niyang manalo in, if we're not mistaken, huling Olympic qualifying tournament na magaganap sa Thailand sa buwan ng Hunyo. Sa ibang banda, ito naman po mga kaduelo ang ilan sa mga kaganapan sa birthday ng brother trainer ni former 3 Division World Champion General Cuadro Alas Casimero na si Coach Jason Casimero kung saan tila natira po siya sa may batok bilang pang-asar sa birthday celebrant for enjoyment. Siapa? 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 Siapa?